doing? You brought us all here together once again. You know, you brought us together when you played on stage, you brought us together at demonstrations. You gave us the crazy paper, you gave us the 1,000 ways. Now, as you're not ready to leave yet, you still want everybody to see you. You know, that's what it looks like. You're not ready to go off yet to the hinterlands of wherever, to the heavens, to the cosmos. You still want us all to be part of, the, of your universe. We are part of, you, of your universe. You are part of ours. But the thing was, I still remember at age 16, I was living out in LA going to Fairfax High School. A friend of mine tells me, come on over, we'll listen to some records, we'll smoke some weed. I started smoking weed at age 15 in 1965. And I thought, oh, we're gonna listen to the Birds or Dylan. He gives me this record to listen to the Fugs. I said, what the hell is this? <laughs> because we, all at that time, what I knew was KBLA, which was, the eccentric the AM station, or KPFK, or some of the uh, top 40 schlock we were listening to. You know, similar to 77 WABC here in New York City, you know, schlock. Except, at that time, New York City exported B. Mitchell Reed to LA. Anybody remember BMR? And he became cool in the end. But that's besides the point. We put on the fugs. We're smoking weed and said, this is different, man. <laughs> totally different. You know, I think it was Virgin Forest, I believe. And I remember the term Virgin Forest, I thought it was, oh, maybe uh, if it, it had me fantasize some girl I'd want to be with back in those days. You know, high school, high school fantasies. High school sex dreams, whatever you want to call it. So I borrow the record and I pull a little prank with it. My mother had a party with some Brigantha friends, right? And I she usually put on her Yiddish music. And I was very pissed at her because she stole my pot. You know, slapped me across the face for it. You know, and I figure I play a joke on her and her Holocaust survivor friends. And she puts on a record thinking they're going to hear, hear some Yiddish kite, a fiddler on the roof. Believe me, it was fireworks. <laughs> you know, hearing this and, and this thing, what the hell is this? Stupid music. And I'm in my room laughing at this whole thing. At the, at the whole antic. And because I embarrassed it for her friends. And I pulled a similar stuff with it in high school because at Friday night, at Fridays, we had like a folk club at lunchtime. They say, bring your folk records, right? And I brought that record to school. They thought they were going to hear, you know, Birds or Kingston Trio. But there are, there are a few other kids who are into that shit also, you know, unbeknownst to me. Because we were hit, because right down the street from Fairfax High School, Frank Zappa and the Birds used to practice at the studio run by a guy named Vito Polikas. He had a basement studio on Beverly Boulevard and Laurel Street. You know, Vito later on moved up to Katati and organized a community up there. But believe me, this, more than the commercial stuff on Columbia Records, Tooley and the Fugs, really made some waves. You know, everybody said 67 was when it was all happening. I say it was all happening at the zoo in 64, 65, 66. But only the, but all the commercialized media and the plastics picked it up later in life when we all knew about it. 
Well, I say thank you, Tuli. Thank you, the folks. You know, for, for giving the Android Society. That's a Yiddish word, you would know what it is. Some of you know Yiddish. Anybody know the word Suris? Yeah, yes. I was known the, as the ultimate Cirrus mocker, troublemaker. Cirrus mockers of the world unite.